write a program for the temperature equation okay so for that right click in block diagram come into the measurement io in this measurement io you will get this nidaq max here in this nidaq max in the first class first column last dq assistant is present take this dq assistant based on the block diagram it will take few second then you will get the dq assistant configuration window okay now create new platform has been opened okay in this uh, configuration window you can see we are going to we are here we are going to create a task task with the acquire signal and the type of signal will be analog input and the property which we are going to select that is temperature temperature which kind of sensor module we are using thermocouple module so now i have selected thermocouple module let's see how many hardware are available for this thermocouple measurement so there is two hardware are available on my pc let's check to our hardware okay this ni my deck educational hardware it is present okay uh because it is a virtual hardware and it is our real hardware okay so now i am going to take the real hardware c deck c deck 1 module 1 c deck 1 module 1 ai0 after that finish so first here i am going to write a program for one channel one sensor okay one sensor one sensor everything is fine now you can see the if you want to see the connection so let's see you can see i had i had made a connection like this my connection okay i had made the connection like this you can see the proper connection here okay i have made the connection like this proper connection is here after that express task in this express task this one is temperature okay this one is temperature and uh, maximum is 100 degree centigrade minimum is zero thermocouple value is type of thermocouple j and single sample on demand the meaning of single sample on demand means whenever the user will run whenever the user will press the run button okay our system will give uh, the system will give the output so it is a one sensor one sample data not building after that Come into the front panel. Right click. Come here. Okay, you will get uh, here. You will get a modern style. Inside the modern style, you will get this th thermometer. Take a thermometer. Place it here. Okay, increase the size. On block diagram, make connection like this. Right click on thermometer. Come into the visible item. Digital display. Okay. now here i am going to run the program now you can see my room temperature is right now 20 okay 20 26 degree centigrade here i have one blower which i am going to start and let's see what temperature we will get after one after 2 second 2 to 3 second now here i am going to run the program now you can see it's 40 46 degree centigrade okay Okay, whenever I will run, I will get the data. Okay, now here in in front of blower, uh, I am placing my sensor in front of blower. So now you can see 65 degree centigrade. Okay, now here I am going to write a program for continuously run, continuous run. where i will show you how the signal okay how the temperature uh, graph will change here right click take a while loop and delete this one 
come into the front panel, take a waveform chart and place here. Make connection like this. Create control. Now I am going to run the program. Let's see. It will give you the value on the degree centigrade. Now my room temperature temperature is right now 29 degree centigrade. Here. My blower is running. So now you can see my temperature is rising. It's continuously rising. When I will take away my sensor, now you can see the temperature is fall, okay, falling. If I will connect, if I will, okay. Now it's going to the 90, 80, 90 degree centigrade. Why is continuously rising? Because, okay, it's near to the heat sink. I think 120 saturation point for it, right? After that 120, let's see. No, 120 not saturation point. Now when I will take away, now you can see the, okay, my temperature. Now you can see uh, it's falling down and it will fall down uh, till 29 degrees centigrade. That's my room temperature is right now 26 to 28 degrees centigrade. So it will fall down till 26 degrees centigrade. Now you can see how easily we can acquire the data using uh, this DAQ card. Okay. And how easily we can store. Now the second concept which I'm going to explain that's how can we store this data. Let's see here. There is a very small program which you have to write. And the program is right click, come into the file IO. There is write measurement file. Take the write measurement file. And place inside the while loop. When you will place inside the while loop, it will open the configure write measurement file window where you have to configure uh, something like file format here I am going to select uh, Microsoft Excel X scale only one column and now I need to select my location so browse here uh, let's go to the document this NITRPLTR Chandigarh inside this time data Nine two one four ten data nine two one four and extension is Excel. So press the OK button. Now press here OK button. Now make a connection like this. Connect your signal with this signal now run the program now you can see my uh, current room temperature is near about 26 degrees centigrade that's why we are getting this straight line okay sir but we have set a maximum temperature limit of 100 degrees since then how to graph the value of 100 here uh, we are using the DAQ, uh, DAQ assistant okay and this DAQ assistant is high level programming so whenever if whenever your system will uh, exceed your temperature range okay it is for the it is for the temperature sensor they had specifically developed uh, okay uh, this criteria because uh, most of the time uh, user don't know which kind of temperature sensor they are using 
they are using j j type of thermocouple k type of thermocouple okay so the thermocouple range okay that's why the whatever the we uh, uh, define the thermocouple range on this daq express okay automatic uh, when your system whenever the system rise the range automatically the daq change the range to change the range to prevent the circuit okay uh, they have designed this uh, program okay like that if you will go to the low level programming vi low level programming they also you have to uh, specify everything but there also they will try to uh, also uh, the system try to uh, override your uh, highest sorry uh, your high uh, means your high highest level as per your as per your sensors why just be, just to prevent the circuitry okay it is their internal architectures they have designed for this uh, data equation uh, data equation uh, drivers now you can see continuously i am acquiring the data and i am storing the data so to stop the program here i am going to press the stop and let's check what kind of data okay uh, i have recorded now you can see it's 8 kb and temperature sense uh, temperature data 9214 let's open okay now you can see if you will get the average so you will get the average temperature 26 okay 26 degree you will get the average average temperature 26 degree centigrade okay so my room temperature is 26.3 degree centigrade average 